could not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Dr. Julius Robert Oppenheimer, the man behind the atomic bomb. In 1939, prominent scientists warned that Adolf Hitler's Germany might build a nuclear bomb before anyone else. Oppenheimer, a leading physicist in the United States, got involved in nuclear research. In 1941, he was given the responsibility to create a laboratory for the Manhattan Project and use recent scientific discoveries to develop an atomic bomb. He and the team achieved this and successfully tested a nuclear bomb in 1945. Successors of that test bomb were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan later that year. Oppenheimer was born in 1904 in New York. His father was a German immigrant. Oppenheimer earned an undergraduate degree at Harvard before continuing his education abroad. After receiving his doctorate, he returned to the United States to teach physics and research quantum and relativity theories. After the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer served as the head of the advisory committee to the Atomic Energy Commission from 1947 until 1952. In 1949, the United States Atomic Energy Commission recommended against building a hydrogen bomb. Oppenheimer worried that a hydrogen bomb with an explosive force 1,000 times greater than an atomic bomb would be far more devastating. This refusal, coupled with his past communist affiliations, made him a target during the McCarthy era. Accused of being a Soviet spy, Oppenheimer faced a review board in 1954. Despite numerous witnesses testifying on his behalf, his security clearance was revoked. He's already looking for a way to attack Oppenheimer and humiliate him. Unable to access classified information, Oppenheimer's ability to work was severely limited. The decision sparked outrage among scientists worldwide, but the damage had been done. Oppenheimer continued to teach physics and lived a mostly private life afterward. He died of cancer in 1967. In 2014, the records from the hearing were unsealed. The declassified documents bolstered the assertion that Oppenheimer had done nothing wrong. There was no evidence of disloyalty. On December 16, 2022, U.S. Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm reversed the 1954 decision, deeming it flawed and formally reinstated his security clearance affirming Oppenheimer's loyalty. 